Did you kill 13 people? It would be improper for me to comment on my LA convictions and on my pending case here in San Francisco. Why? Because of my appeals. Are you appealing these because you say you're innocent? You didn't kill 13 people? Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to the body language of serial killer Richard Ramirez. They are open-minded people. And it was here in a cramped room in a San Francisco jail that I interviewed the man known as the Night Stalker. A memorable face-off with me asking questions and Ramirez, for the most part, reading from a script. Did you kill 13 people? It would be improper. Instantly he's distancing himself. That's a very strong sign that someone's lying. When you ask him a very specific question, I, did you kill 13 people? He instantly distanced himself. He looks away. Now, innocent people would be keen to tell them that, no, I'm innocent, and they'd explain why they're innocent. They'd see that as a perfect opportunity, especially with the new screw there to justify why they're innocent. So they would go straight for it. He distances himself. He knows he's guilty, and he's looking away to try to distance himself from the person asking the difficult question. On my LA convictions, and on my pending case here in when he says alleged convictions and then pending cases, again, he, he uses those gestures as a distancing behavior. Now, a distancing behavior, for those of you that don't know, is, a bod is the body's way of trying to get away from the stressor. So the guy here is the stressor. So when he says, duh, duh, he says two points, he doesn't once nod at the person. He never nods towards the person as someone who isn't lying would do. Instead, he decides to use it as a distancing opportunity by doing it left, doing it right anything to avoid the person he's talking to. It's a very strong sign that he's lying. Why? Because of my appeals. Uh, he licks his lips there. I know they might be dry because he's been talking with an interview or whatever, but when you lick your lips, especially in a situation like that, pacifying behavior. It's a way for the body to relieve stress. Pacifying behaviors include licking of the lips, scratching of the neck, fidgeting, pushing your arms down your legs. It's a pacifying behavior as well, but it's also a way the body relieves stress. He's trying to calm himself down, He's trying to basically control his emotions to answer the questions in a calm and collected way, which you'll see he does in this clip. But it comes off as really cold, really fake, not real at all. And that's why this, this video is a perfect opportunity to see if someone's lying, because he's doing all the tales of a liar, which is really good. Are you appealing these because you say you're innocent? You didn't kill 13 people? You didn't kill 13 people? Looks away. Distancing again. He's a sh well, he's not ashamed of that he killed 13 people. He's ashamed that he got caught for killing 13 people. And the fact that he's being told how many people he killed, he, he doesn't like that. His body's like, nope, get me out of there. He looks away. He tries to distance himself because he knows he's guilty. And yeah, 100% guilty, I'd say, in this. If you didn't tell me what he did and I had no idea who this guy was and you showed me this video, I'd say 90% sure he's guilty. But obviously, body language, there's room for mistakes. Uh, didn't form a baseline, but again, he's doing the tales when, when he's asked specific stresses. So in the seconds that he wasn't asked those stresses, you don't see that body language, but you see it change. So you can form a short baseline, but it's nowhere near enough to actually do anything sort of legal or put together a case. This is just the first. Well, I've seen this about two or three times. It's interesting. I've watched it before years ago because it's just interesting for me. So yes, that is correct. You didn't kill. That is correct. His eyes squint, he looks down, he's trying to avoid it. Not ashamed of it at all, because he would be showing emotions, he would be showing stress, he would be like jittering and be like, oh, I'm sorry, or something like that. He doesn't do any of that, he doesn't show any of the emotions that would be a sign with guilt. Instead, he closes his eyes when he's asked specific questions, he's trying to distance himself from it. He doesn't like the fact that he's been caught. It would be improper for me to comment in any regard to that question. You have now... Again, totally scripted. The, the, the language he's giving off, the speech, does not match his body language at all. That's a very strong sign that he's either lying or he's reading from a script, which he is. So, yeah, in body language, because most of communication is through the body, not the voice, when the voice doesn't match the body and all the other tells the body's doing, it's very safe to say that what he's saying is scripted. He says that in a calm and collected way, even though you can see he's not calm, he's all over the place. But then he instantly switches back to Carmen Collected, delivers a perfect script, perfect line, doesn't quiver, his voice doesn't change at all. All signs of a liar. 
totally lying, totally using a script. Yeah, this guy is definitely lying. He's definitely faking. He's definitely using a script. And we know that now because he was proven guilty. Group of people in this country. You're in the, the ranks of Charlie Manson, Ted Bundy. You claim you didn't commit these murders, but you're writing. Sort of a micro expression. Now, this guy, I don't like him because he's a serial killer. You notice when he's compared to Ted Bundy and all the other great serial killers, you can see his, he's sort of doing a micro expression of a smile there. He's glad. He likes being associated with them. He likes being one of the greatest serial killers. He just likes it. He gets off on it. You see his face change. It's only so slight. It's very slight. But you can see a smile there. You can see that he's enjoying being compared to those horrible people. So that tells you a lot about this guy. He's The only time he gets nervous is when he's nearly caught. Nearly caught. That's it. He doesn't get nervous about anything else. He delivers the script perfectly. And now when he's been accused of being like famous serial killers, he's not being accused of being a serial killer, he's being compared to them. He's smiling, he's not doing those distancing behaviors or pacifying behaviors. He likes it, he enjoys it. If you were an innocent person and you were compared to Ted Bundy and other famous serial killers, you would be all over the place in terms of your body language. You'd be nervous, you'd be shaking, you'd be doing as many pacifying behaviors because your body would be so stressed at that point. He doesn't do that. He only does the pacifying behaviors when he's asked specific questions that are going to get him, well, on death row or killed or in prison forever. So, yeah. As far as everybody else is concerned. Serial killers do on a small scale what governments do on a large one. Interesting point. He believes it. He's leaning in when he's saying it. He's looking at the person when he's saying it. That, to me, is improvised. Yeah. This guy is not right in the head, funnily enough. Um, so. Interesting sort of view into his psyche there. Even psychopaths have emotions if you dig deep enough. But then again, maybe they don't. Do you... I think, yeah, they do have emotions, but it's mainly the limbic system, which is the more primordial type of area of the brain, which deals with sort of aggressive responses. It's basically our caveman brain. It gives us impulses. It gives us basic emotions. It allows us to, well, it controls our pacifying behaviors. It controls basically our physical emotions it doesn't control morality it doesn't control any of those other things this guy is right he doesn't really have actual developed emotions in terms of morality he has more the primordial emotions so response aggressiveness um fight or flight or fight flight freeze which is actually what it is freeze being the most common that's what he's got he doesn't have the advanced emotions of guilt of morality and yeah, it gives it off here. I mean, his response to that saying governments do what he does, or well, implying what he does, you know, you wouldn't try and justify. I mean, here's, here's a tip for you. Don't try and justify what serial killers do if you're trying to be seen as innocent, because that does not work. It doesn't look good for you. It's stupid. So just... This guy, I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't seem to have thought about this very much, to be honest. No comment. Tell me what... Smiles. No comment. Micro expression indicating that he finds it humorous, funny when asked about his emotions, and then it says no comment. Almost as if he enjoys saying that. He enjoys the fact that he doesn't have any emotion. He takes pride in it. Again, this guy is a serial killer. Before he was even proven guilty, he's a serial killer. Anyone could have told you that. Anyone who's studied body language could tell you this guy is is guilty. Don't let him free, don't don't he's he's guilty. End of on love and happiness a long time ago. Why? I, I don't care to explain that. Let, I mean, let, the, let the quote stand for itself. People, people in this day and age are brainwashed and programmed like a computer at being nothing more than puppets. This nation, this country is founded in violence. <sighs> violent delights tend to have violent ends. It's so notice how he's looking down. Now, that's his baseline for thinking, because when he does thinking, when his voice, um, the voice expressions indicate that he's thinking, he's looking down. That's normal. Most time people look up, but he can look down when he's thinking. So that, again, I know we've already shown that he's guilty, but why wasn't he doing that when he was thinking about how innocent he was? Why wasn't he doing that when he was remembering a script? He wasn't. He'd planned it. It was fake. If he was innocent, You'd expect to see that body language throughout when he's asking difficult questions. He's only doing this when he's having a gloat about morality and serial killers on national television. So this guy is, you know, that just adds more to the fact he's guilty because 
his body language completely shifts when he's being accused of stuff to when he's given time to speak freely about something he seems to care a lot about. He likes to justify what serial killers have done. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing here. So why wasn't he doing those expressions before if he was being honest? Because he's not. Because he's lying. Because he's guilty. He's a serial killer. Madness is something rare in individuals, but in groups, people, and ages, it is a rule. Killing is killing, whether done for duty, profit, or fun. Men murdered themselves into this democracy. You, you get it right in your script. Smiles again there when he says that line. He's glad he said it. He's glad he's going on television saying that. Points like that are very you know, controversial because you could argue he's telling the truth. You could argue he's, he's, he's faking things a bit there in terms of what he's saying, i.e. governments basically being founded on violence and murder. It's kind of true, to be honest. I mean, governments, you know, American Revolution, all that jazz. I'm British, so I know about it. Um, he, he's trying to play politics on TV, and he, that's his goal for this interview. He doesn't care about talking to the guy. He cares about getting his twisted views out there and trying to justify that he's a serial killer and why he's done it. That's the mind of a serial killer, delusional beyond belief. He likes what he's done, but he's afraid of getting caught. That's what I can take from this guy. He's, he's, he's a nut job, for want of a better word. So you're not much in answering my direct questions. A lot was made that you're a devil worshipper. Do you worship the devil? Have you ever studied Satanism? <sighs> there are different sects of Satanism. So that means yes, because why would you, how would you know that there's different sects of Satanism if you weren't practicing Satanism yourself? This guy isn't clever. Yes or no? Have you studied yes, Satanism? Yes, I have. Are you, are you a worshipper of the devil? No comment. Again, asked a difficult question. His solicitor has told him not to answer that. But when he says no comment, licks his lips. Pacifying behavior again. He's afraid of answering it, so he says no comment. Guilty. He is a Satan worshipper. He's doing all his tales of being a liar right when he's asked the question. The coincidence of that same tale happening twice is like the exact point in which he's asked those questions. He's crazy. He's lying. He's a Satan worshipper. I can tell you a little bit about Satanism. Well, I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you got to say. Then. If someone leans in and says, I can tell you a little bit about Satanism, they probably worship Satan. Don't, don't, don't go there. Run away. Leave. It is undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. It is power, power without charity. A Satanist admits to being evil. Do you admit to being evil, Richard? We are all evil. And he believes it. He's slowly shaking his head when he says it. He maintains eye contact. He believes that. He's telling the truth that he believes that. So yeah, that gives you an insight into his, his mind. I'm asking you the questions, my friend. <laughs> yes, I am evil. Not 100%, but I am evil. Leans into the camera, it's the only sign of honesty, this whole flipping video. He leans into the camera, which is a sign that you're put, willing to put your body in front of a stressor, i.e. this guy. People don't do that when they lie. They try and pacify themselves, they try and distance themselves from the stressor. When asked that question, are you evil? He leans in and says, yes, I am. He does short head, head nods, which shows that he wants the person to believe what he's saying as well. It can be faked, but it looks sincere and... We know he's kind of evil because he's a serial killer. He's killed 13 people. So yes, he's telling the truth there. And that shows the complete... If you compare that to when he was lying, the, the difference is unbelievable in his body language. He's gone from leaning back, looking away, licking his lips, distancing himself every, t every opportunity to leaning in, addressing the camera, doing head nods. That's how you tell he was lying in the first place. Because when he's telling the truth, his body language is completely different from when he was lying. This guy's a liar. This guy obviously is a serial killer. And yeah, anyone watching this who had no idea who this guy was, who Richard Ramirez was, would tell you he's guilty. He's so guilty. Anyone watching this could. It wouldn't be enough to prosecute them on, but he's guilty. You know, if you see a guy like this, don't, don't let him near your family or kids because he's so guilty. All of these towels. Guilt. Total guilt. He doesn't feel guilty about it, but... His lying when he's asked the question show he's guilty. Has always existed. Perfect world most people seek shall never come to pass. And it's going to get worse. <sighs> the great epochs of our life is when we gain the courage to rebaptize our e evil qualities as being our best qualities. 
So yeah, do I need to say more? You've seen all of the perfect signs of a liar and then all the signs of telling the truth. This, this video is perfect for studying body language. You can see his baseline shift dramatically. You can see him tell the truth and be honest at the end. And you can see him lying at the start. And you can see the deviation in body language between those three sections when he's lying, his baseline, and when he's telling the truth. That is perfect if you want to study body language because you know he's lying because he was proven guilty. Use this if you want to learn about body language or if you're interested. Watch this clip a few times and you'll see the shift in his body language. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. And if you like that video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because this channel really means a lot to me and I want it to grow. Thank you.